Hello, this is David Hale with Tech Dive TV. Welcome to episode 92 of A Day in the Life. Now, I've noticed recently that I've actually been making a difference in other people's lives with my saga of cord cutting, not having a cable TV subscription. Uh, a lot of my friends and acquaintances are now looking into doing the same thing and they're asking me, how do I do it? Well, as many of you know, I have an antenna. Yes, they still exist. I get about 41 channels over the air, all in full HD. I also use streaming services like Netflix, Hulu Plus, Amazon Prime Video, and Sling TV. Now that gets me a, quite a bit of content, and I'm saving about $1,100 a year by not having a cable subscription. So I only have an inter internet subscription through my provider, no phone, no cable TV. Uh, my phone is another story we'll cover later and we'll do an entire tour of how I have my phone and television set up so you can do it yourself. But I've noticed a lot more people not wanting to have a cable subscription. And you know who else have noticed this? HBO and Showtime. They both have streaming services now as well. I get my HBO through my Sling TV subscription, but you can get it through HBO now as well, either on your Apple TV or Android devices and you can put that to your TV through any different methods like Chromecast or such. Uh, Chromecast will be supported um, on HBO now very soon. They said in July, but it's not quite there yet. So I'm assuming sometime this month they'll have Chromecast uh, and HBO now working quite well together. So are you still paying for a cable subscription? Why? Oh, ease of use. Yes. Well, Cable is a bit easier to navigate. If you're doing a lot of streaming services, you have to have either a smart television or some sort of device like an Apple TV or a Roku or a, a Kindle Fire um, TV box, um, which makes it a little bit more difficult, but it's not insurmountable. So it's not just pick up your remote and flip the channels necessarily, but it's really not hard to do. It's much like when you used to have a VCR or you have a DVD player and you have to switch to that device, it's pretty much the same. So look into it. I mean, I'm saving a lot of money. You could save a lot of money. And perhaps for those who don't want, you know, to cut their cable cord, maybe their cable prices will go down. You never know. This is David Hale with Tech Dive TV, A Day in the Life. You have a good day.